What do we have here, Winston? Well, what we have here is Dogfish Head's Worldwide Stout. And for a lot of you, you know it because it's this huge extreme imperial stout that's 18%. Yes, you heard me. 18%. 18%? Yes, 18%. It's crazy. Uh, it does have a really cool bottle cap. It's kind of kind of nice. And <clears throat> our history with this, um, John bought this eight times. Prior, eight times. Prior to Christmas. When, when did you When did you buy it? Uh, right before. So it's it it before Christmas of two thousand nine. Mm -hmm. And we had what like eight bottles, and everyone was just ecstasy. It became one of our favorite beers we had ever tried. Um, mm -hmm. I went to Michigan. Um, we're currently in California, yeah. here. but I went to Michigan and I got two bottles there, and it was just as good as here. So, you know, no matter where I was, it was it was one of my favorite beers. You know, I have to say the first bottle that I had to me it tasted like a barley wine stout. It was just so unique, so good, so much flavors, and just so much going on. And the eighteen percent, very well hidden. Yeah, yep. it, it, very well hidden. It didn't taste like eighteen. I don't remember this being a boozy beer. I just, mm -hmm. yeah, I just remember being able to feel that it was a boozy beer. Oh yeah, for sure, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then this one, uh, we bought in November of 2009. What was it, no, 2009? Well, we bought, it? we bought it, no, it's bottled November 2009. We right. bought this was after it Christmas. January? It was January. Oh, okay, so we bought this in January. This is a, uh, this one it was bottled January, uh, November of uh, 2009. And this was pretty much the batch after the, the ones that we had together where it was just like, oh, awesome, right? And uh, with this one, it tasted like nail polish remover. It tastes like turpentine. It yeah. was just absolutely repulsive. So, so, so we had two bottles of it yeah. after, after, um, after those eight bottles that were so great, two bottles that were like nail polish remover. Yeah, nasty. And then I drank one more last weekend from the same bottling date on November 2009 that was also, it was like, it's like formaldehyde and sweet tarts is the only way I can describe it. Okay, yeah. I don't mean to be too harsh, but that it gave me a headache. So, yeah. I mean, what used to be one of my favorite beers in the world, I don't know what happened to it. So, but we don't know. We don't know what we have in this bottle right here. So I'm really curious because, okay, you know, like eight bottles that were great, then three that were bad. Mm -hmm. So this is like my 12th bottle. This is just ridiculous. I've had that many worldwide stuff. Well, if my mom was into makeup and you know polishing her nails and stuff like that, that's, that's what exactly I would smell. What I smell in this. Yeah. Thankfully, my mom, she's really cool. She's not into that. That literally, yeah. That's like when you pass by the salon, Ooh. where you pass by the salon, and all the ladies are getting their hair turned like old ladies' purple hair. Walk through Macy's, right? And like you pass the right. perfume section. Worldwide stout. <laughs> yeah, they're putting in a worldwide stout. No, I mean, I'm, I'm really not trying to make this a I'm bash not session. To, yeah against the dogfish head, this is what, like like we told you, we, we, we've gone through all the steps aging this. Eight of these bottles were greatness. Yeah, in, in, in hopes that this will redeem this batch, the November 2009 batch. Um, but we are going to be really honest, and sadly, uh, we had some some baggage from the, the last two. It's kind of hard to get over these things. Yeah, you know, like a bad breakup. Okay. Okay, Down we'll go. go. Hmm. <laughs> Here, you know. All right, you first. No, you first. Really? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, You're always. Honest. My last bottle was worse than this, so I, I just I want to establish some kind of credibility here. I'm not just bashing this beer. My last bottle hurt more than this one, but. There's a lot of the smell in there, mm. like the chemically kind of uh, formaldehyde taste, and um, it's extremely cloyingly sweet. Wait, and I like sweet. I've got a sweet tooth. It's right there. Um, you know what? Like this is not the beer I remember. It's like there's no way that just my memory has changed or my pa my my palate has changed. Yeah. This is a different beer from the greatness that I fell in love with prior to um, the holiday season of 2009. There's no way that I'm misremembering this beer different. This is a completely different beer. Like the smell isn't a, I mean, is more extreme than the taste. Like yeah. this is much more formaldehyde in the smell, but mm -hmm. the taste, it's still, 
like it. <laughs> That's not, I like it. Well, I can't imagine what your the other one that you had recently, how bad that was. I mean, yeah, I got a headache from the last one. Yeah, see, like I don't want a headache, so I don't know if I'm gonna finish this. Probably not. Um, it's uh, I pretty much agree with what John said. I mean, I, I mean, as you see here, the color is the same. It barely has head because it is high in ABV, but I mean, just this booze. I mean, it's booze beyond booze that just hits you. Now, there is sweetness. There's some dark fruits going on in this thing. Uh, you don't taste roasted malts because, I mean, it's just how strong it is, but it's just the turpentine effect. Yeah, it's like a turpentine sweet tart. And like, literally, um, I just don't understand like how the, my, the beer that we experienced oh. was so good became this. Like, you know, it's like, I almost want feedback from other um, people who are buying the same bottle of it. Do they experience something similar? Yeah, actually, um, that would be really nice if, because if you guys had the November I, I want, I want everybody in our kitchen tr experiencing this with us. It's like, you mm -hmm. know, just to, we're not, we're not, we're not BSing. Now, would I try this again if I see a different batch? Like, let's say December of 2010. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll give it a try very right? because because the first time we had it, it was incredibly amazing. It was so good, alcohol well hidden for eighteen percent. I mean, that's like getting into brew dog territory, you know. Unfortunately, what sticks out in my memory now is this batch because I I don't even remember. All I remember is loving the beer. I don't remember what it tasted like because this is kind of like overridden that data. But I mean, if this has a different date, uh, more recently, then. Yeah, I mean, give it a try, and hopefully it doesn't taste like your your, your mama's nail polish remover, you know? <laughs> mama buys the cheapest kind. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyways, Dogfish Head Worldwide Stout. Guys, I, I'm sorry, but, you know, seriously, if, if, if you're going to distribute things, you should really try to have some more... Just distribute good quality, because you guys are an awesome brewery. I like you guys. I'm a Dogfish Head fan, but what happened to that beer? Yeah. Happy You're birthday, Winston. <laughs> You're a dogfish head fan? I like Palo Santo Marone a lot. Oh, yeah. I like Worldwide Stout prior to this batch. Well, know? Palo Santo Marone is, that's a... It's consistent. It's consistent. Yeah, I love it. Um, I personally don't like it. Really, I mean, it's good. I it's it's it. seriously good, but I, I actually don't like it. Just a preference thing. It's, it's merely a preference thing. Now, their, their IBA, their in, 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 what was it? India Brown Ale. It's a hopped up brown ale. Mm. That was good. That was like the only brown ale I like. Mm. But I would put Palo tomorrow right under there. Like they know how to make good brown ales, even for the brown ale hater. Mm -hmm. Well, um, I'm not gonna take another sip actually. I, I, I wouldn't yeah, make that gesture, but then I thought about it. it. Tastes like rotten prunes. The thing is, is uh, I don't want to take any more Excedrin today. Yeah. We're right. I'm so glad you experienced this with me.